One of the projects on display at the recent Canada-wide science fair at the University of Lethbridge looked into the use of expressive writing as a way to reduce stress and improve test scores. Clara Cook is a Grade 9 student at Noble Central School in Nobleford. This year, for the first time, she entered a project in the Regional Science Fair. Um, well, my project is called Write to an A+, like writing, um, and it's whether or not expressive writing um, helps reduce stress and helps students improve their test scores while they're taking tests. Her project looked at an age-old problem faced by students everywhere. So here's our test guide. Students take tests and tests are very stressful and every student has to take tests. So then um, just if I could find an easy, simple way to reduce at least a little bit of the stress that um, each student feels and help them improve, um, just relax before a test, then I was trying to um, figure out whether or not the expressive writing would help. With the help of teachers and fellow students, Clara compiled data to determine whether expressive writing by students just before taking a test had any effect on their stress levels and test scores. Teachers divided their classrooms into two groups. Group A was given five minutes before the test to write down their thoughts to three questions. Group B sat and waited for the test to begin. Um, the first question is how are you feeling in general? Just not only about the test, but everything that's going on in their life, um, everything that's worrying them, everything that's stressing them out. Um, there's why are, the second question is why are you feeling the way you do? Just to maybe find out um, what's causing these problems, um, maybe getting the students to think about what they could do to um, solve the problems that they, uh, problems and stresses that they have. And number three is how do you want your test results to turn out? And these are positive results because positive thinking does really help, um, I guess, with confidence and just believing in yourself to do well. After the tests were completed and marked, Clara compared results between the two groups. Um, group A did, 70% um, of the time, Group A students had a higher score than Group B students, 13% they tied, and 8% um, of the time, Group A students had lower scores than Group B students. So more than 70% of the time, people who wrote about their feelings before the test got a better score. For students who were part of the test group, Clara's experiment was an eye-opener. Most were surprised by the positive effect it had on their frame of mind. Before a big test, I do get stressed out. I think I overthink it, so that can lead to not doing as well on the test. So actually, Clara, she helped me because I got all the stress out of my mind. And in the end, the results actually were pretty good. Just sort of went to show me about how much stress can affect you and when it's out of your mind of how good you can do on a test when you're not even thinking about it. I found it quite useful. Claire says she was encouraged to pursue this project by her teacher, Justin Harper, who had been looking for ways to increase test scores, especially in high-stress tests like PATs and diplomas. Justin says because of Claire's results, this pre-test routine may soon become a school-wide practice. Because we've just recently got results from Clara and because We've seen positive things come out of it. Like I said, I've used it in my grade nine class and I have seen positive results. The students did do better when they were able to use this method before writing exams. So we'll see where it goes. Teachers are buying in in this school really nicely to this idea and they're very open to any way that they can improve student learning. Claire's project was one of four chosen to advance from the regionals to the Canada-wide science fair held recently in Lethbridge. Her success is something that doesn't surprise anyone at Noble Central School. Clara is a fantastic student. She is willing to do 100% effort on any assignment, any project, from let it be a little poster that's supposed to take 15 minutes to a science fair project like this. It's just Claire's personality coming out. She always puts her 100% best effort into everything she does.